Okay, so welcome back to another video. So today I just kind of want to test out the Senda SD MM5, or most commonly known by the internet as the BM8000 or the BM900. Um, I when I bought this, this is called the BM900. Um, I bought this microphone, just the microphone itself, for two ninety five, mainly for two things: just how it looks, and maybe just from how it sounds. I kind of just want to post this on the internet, just to like give a test of like how this microphone actually sounds like with a good interface, because every YouTube video I've seen of this microphone has either already been processed with reverb for like singing or using the v8 or v9 sound card which, which doesn't sound good like you can hear the hiss the underlying hiss if you have some good enough headphones or even like even if you have just like speakers just like listen for that hiss like it's very audible but if you put it like in a good interface even a cheap interface is like um like a Behringer UM2 or UMC22 or 2022. Uh, yeah, those those uh, interface or a what I'm using right now, which is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. This microphone actually sounds pretty good. It sounds like it's price. It's not. It's nothing compared to like you know more expensive microphones, but it is very serviceable if you're into streaming singing even maybe a little bit of like voice acting just as long as you know how to like clean up the audio a little bit um add some processing to it um this is how it sounds raw just how it sounds coming from the microphone itself in an environment where it's kind of noisy as much as possible i don't really recommend condenser microphones like this if you live in a very noisy environment if you live in a neighborhood that's like i'll have a lot of like you know cars passing by neighbors screaming by chickens and all that um you know the typical philippine living situation but if you really don't have a choice and if you just like want a cheap microphone that actually has some quality you can get the bm900 and be happy with it just as long as you also save up for like a good interface first of all if you ever want to be serious about like streaming or just like you know anything about audio quality always start with a good interface or at least like an interface that will be just ser serviceable for you or like for microphones that you do plan to use but if this was your only microphone for streaming and for you know streaming calling uh singing and you already have a good interface to start you'll just you'll be just fine you'll be just fine it's me just blabbering 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 right now but as you can hear with a good interface speaking to the microphone with not even not so ideal environment I just have like a comforter behind me just to like lessen out lessen the echoes or the reverb back to like the microphone itself it's still a good sounding microphone there's some quality to it may not be the best quality but it is very serviceable You'll be happy with the money you paid for. Two ninety five. That doesn't sound bad. I bought a BM eight hundred for four, almost five hundred, and it doesn't sound as good as this, and it doesn't look as cool as this. Um, I mean, just looking at the form factor of it, look at that. Like it's like, it's like professional. It's like professional looking. Um, it's like it emulates the look of like much more expensive microphones, which is nice. I mean it's plastic and like it's does make noise when you touch it but um it's 295 you can't go wrong with 295 so um this is how it sounds raw been babbling for like five minutes let's hear it it process in like a chain that i would usually do for the microphone so okay so this is how the microphone sounds like with all the processing that i gave to it um, I added like noise suppression, a noise gate, a a bit of an EQ, added like a bit of bass, and added a little bit of like more detail to the high end, just to, like 
make it more punchy. Not punchy. Just make it more forward? I don't know how it's a simpler term for it. Just make it more present. Like that's the easiest word. Present on a recording. Um, but this is all the processing I do with microphones. Um, the noise suppression, noise gate, EQ compressor, and then a limiter. So 285, 295, plus a little bit of processing, going into an interface. This is how it sounds like. Does it sound good? Does it sound bad? What do you think? I'm only hearing the raw audio right now, but I'm not sure about how it sounds processed yet. But we'll see. Um, let's compare it to like other microphones. So just a bit of like comparison, just to like see how um, how the sound of the BM900 compares. This is the original um, BM800 that I owned. It's not branded by any brand. It's just a common BM800. But I bought this microphone for around almost 500. So it's around 100 pesos more. Or even like 200 pesos more than the Senda. Or the BM900. And when listening to it, I don't know if it's just the old age like of this microphone. Because I've owned this for like years now. Objectively, I think the Senda or the BM900 actually sounds better than the BM800. Maybe it's just the old age of the microphone. I've had this, you know, just hidden somewhere because I haven't been using it. But this is how it sounds like. 300 peso microphone compared to a 500 peso microphone. Is it a big difference? Is it actually better in quality? Well, you be the judge. Well, let's give it a little bit of processing just to, like, you know, give it a fair comparison as well if you process the audio as well. So now this is how the BM800 sounds like processed as well. Went through all the same process settings as the Senda or the BM900. And you also be the judge. Does it sound good? Does it sound bad? I may retire this microphone just because of like, um, I haven't like used it in a while. And the Senda just like looks better. The BM900 just looks better compared to this. You know, just the gold plate is kind of tacky, I guess. But yeah, let's move on to the next microphone just to give it more of a comparison. So moving up in price range, this is the Audio-Technica AT2035. This cost me around, or this cost around 7000 So much more expensive than the BM900. Um, 300 7000 this is how it sounds raw, uh, without processing. Also a condenser microphone. Oddly enough, not the most common microphone out there. This is just the better, bigger brother of like the AT2020. But this is how this microphone sounds like. Is the upgrade really worth it? Is the money for, you know, a 7,000 peso microphone worth it for you? Compared to the Senda? Compared to like the BM900? For most people, this may already be overkill. Unless you're a singer or have a studio of your own, you don't really need to get this microphone. Because if you don't have the right environment for it anyways, it's just going to sound bad. It's just going to pick up everything of your environment. All the construction, all the car noises, all the uh, neighborly sounds that you may hear. But this is how it sounds like raw. I'm also going to, you know, record a little bit of like how it's processed so hang on okay now this is how the AT2035 sounds like with the same processing except for EQ because I think the EQ for this microphone is already good but still has the compressors still has the noise gate still has the noise suppression and this is how the microphone sounds like processed um, this is how good it is at receiving the processing but what do you guys think? Is it worth more? Is the sound worth more than the BM900 or the BM7, BM800? I mean, for me, as, a, as just an audiophile, I just like, as an option, having a better microphone. For me, it's worth it. But I know for most people, the BM900 
might be the better choice or much might might be the choice that is good enough for them good enough for calls good enough for streams good enough for multiple uses now this is the behringer xm 8500 now if i were to recommend a starting microphone this is actually the microphone i'd recommend this is a dynamic microphone it costs around i think i bought this for 1800 but i've seen it you know go to like 2000 pesos and all that it's just you just have to like find the place that you can actually buy this but originally i bought this for like 1718 it should be around that price but this is a dynamic microphone which means it's better at like rejecting noises from the background it's just better for like environments that are noisy um like the common filipino household it's very good uh this is how it sounds raw um it has some quality to it despite the price and let's see how it does at processing now this is what the microphone sounds like with all the processing the same processing we've used for every microphone that we test i'm getting out of breath but you know have another test of this microphone um well, how, how's it sound does it sound good does it sound bad do you like this would you get this over a bm900 or bm800 if you had the money or not but yeah uh this is the B behringer xm 8500 and let's get back to the senda the bm900 i don't really know what to call it goddamn so to wrap this all up, would I recommend the BM900? If you're on a budget and you're just trying to find a microphone that will suit for you, just for like call streaming and all that kind of stuff, yeah, I'd recommend this microphone. Only if you use it with an interface or at the very least get like one of those like phantom power boxes and plug that into your like motherboard and sound card. Um, if you have that in place, yes, I'd recommend this microphone because it actually sounds pretty decent. And if you actually put some processing like I have right now, it's a very good microphone. It's going to be very serviceable and I think you're going to be very happy with the sound and the people that listen to you are going to be happy with the sound. Would I recommend you getting one of those like sat with the V8s and V9s? No, don't get those. It's not worth it if you're really trying to find the quality of the sound, but if you're just like, if you just want a microphone and use it on a computer or something, then I guess it will work. I guess it's fine. But if you want the quality, if you want the full quality that you can get from this, BM900, XLR to XLR, interface directly to your computer. If that is your setup, then I'd recommend you get it get get the microphone it's pretty decent and you'll be happy with it but if it's anything else just the microphone then the v8 sound card or any like cheapo sound card you just get not so much not so much invest invest in an audio interface that's my conclusion invest in a good enough even good enough audio interface and you'll be happy with any microphone that you'll get even a 295 peso microphone you'll be happy with. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.